welcome to today's session so in this session we learn about the different type of reversible chemical reaction so we have two type of chemical re reversible chemical reaction one is the homogeneous reaction second is the heterogeneous reactions so under heading of homogeneous reaction all the chemical equilibrium has only one phase that is all the reactants and products are in the same physical state physical state means we can take gas or liquid in solid reactions very difficult okay see here in chemical reactions but we can take solid also no problem so it should be only one physical states so let's take example say example is when hydrogen react with the iodine so it is converted to hydrogen iodide we can see the reactants are gases phase and even the product is in also in gas phase so this is the homogeneous chemical reactions reversible reaction similarly if you see acetic acid is reacting with the ethanol in aqueous state and again you can see the product is also in aqueous state so these two are again you can say these are the same state so they are called as the homogeneous chemical reactions so under this one there are the different type of homogeneous chemical reactions so first second and third type so what is meaning of first second third type so we can see this is the sum of the uh, product of the uh, gases more product of most of the reactant minus product of the most of the sum of the most of the reactant is equal to zero this means that the number of most of the product is equal to numbers of the most of the reactant so in this way we can see hydrogen plus iodine it is giving two moles of iodide so two minus two so the how many moles are there two so if you subtract uh, two minus two it will give you Zero. Similarly, you can see this is uh, nitric oxide. So here again, product is two moles. It is two moles. So when you subtract two minus two equal to zero, this means delta and this is the uh, gas and uh, change in the gases moles will be zero. So of the product of the moles minus reactant because this is this is the product. This is the reactant. So this is one type of homogeneous reaction. Second type of you can see homogeneous reactions when there is an increase in number of molecules or number of moles like pcl5 is equal to pcl3 plus pcl2 so this is two molecules in product this is one molecule two minus one equal to so this is more than one here it is again you can see a three plus one four minus two again gas number of gas moles is overall gas moles is again increases in the third type when there is a decrease in the number of moles you can take the reverse also like n2 plus 3s2 so here the number of gas moles will be less than zero here again less than zero means it is negative so this will help you in calculating the problem in the coming topic why we are taking like this thing heterogeneous equilibria so under heading of heterogeneous equilibria in this chemical equilibria a number of phases is greater than one so uh, whatever the states of uh, uh, reactant and product are there it will be more than one phase means it is not like a solid liquid gas it may be solid and one maybe is liquid or gas so no gas phase present. so here we are not taking gas phase we are taking only solid and liquid phase not only gas phase so in calcium carbonate one is a solid uh, convert into calcium oxide plus calcium and uh, uh, sorry carbon, di carbon dioxide so this is in solid phase but this two are in solid and gas phase similarly magnesium carbonate solid solid plus gas solid plus liquid phase not liquid phase this you can write here gas phase and this is also a gas phase so this is just make a correction so it was gas phase so here sodium peroxides water so this is your sodium hydroxide plus oxygen so here we will get sodium uh, soil liquid pen gas this is solid liquid and gas here iron plus water so it will give you fa3o4 so again solid liquid solid liquid has three phases present in this reaction similarly in this reaction sodium bicarbonate we can see here solid plus gas again copper sulfate is a blue vitriol so in blue vitriol is giving two phase so one is solid and second is your gas phase so these are uh, the other different uh, phases present in the heterogeneous equilibrium so all these are heterogeneous equilibria state of chemical equilibrium so what is the meaning of state chemical equilibrium so most important characteristic property of the reversible reaction is that it is always attain a state of chemical equilibrium 
so it will always attain a state of chemical means it will be at the position of the equilibrium that we have already seen it let us uh, just revise with a hypothetical, hypothetical example let us assume a general reversible reaction in a closed vessel so we are taking this uh, reversible reaction in a closed vessel suppose we have two reactant a and b is the hypothetical and is undergoing the product c plus d so initial moles of this a plus b is supposed to take concentration of a and this is the concentration of b moles okay so this will be zero so after some time what will happen so some of the reactant a and b will be converted start converting into some c and d so c and d x minus this is some products uh, this is d is some product is there if the number of moles are equal they will get the uh, some moles of x some moles of same moles of x also no uh, that much amount of uh, moles is reduced from a and b so we just uh, subtract it so consists is moles of uh, b uh, minus x and moles of a minus x. so this will be at equilibrium this will be all this will be fixed this will not change it at the certain time so if you add it also what will happen so that equilibrium will be disturbed but in this position it will be always fixed means when this reaction going forward when this reaction going forward and uh, backward so when x is going backward means this is converting to b plus a and this is converting to a plus a both rates are going together to each other so we can see from this diagram so initially this reactant was highest in position so when it is decreasing so definitely this is going downward so at one stage one stage means uh, the concentration may or may not be equal product is always lesser than the concentration so it will be lesser than reactant so at one stage both will be going this direction this direction so forward direction plus backward direction is equal to each other this is the seesaw shape of this diagram so initially concentration a and b are involved in uh, beginning uh, then the product and c are c and d are needed so as soon as product c and d are produced so the backward reaction start functioning and by the expiry of the time uh, so that by the expiry of a time the rate of forward reaction decreases why because the concentration a and b decreases while the rate of the backward uh, reaction increases why it is as uh, increasing because the concentration of product c and d increases so ultimately a stage comes when the rate of forward reaction becomes equal to the rate of backward reaction this stage is called as the equilibrium state so we can uh, represent this equilibrium like this one uh, rate of forward reaction equal to rate of backward reaction and graphically we can write so this is the uh, product a reactant of this concentration reactant so it is going down forward reaction again and this is backward reaction by the product is going down so this is a forward is a backward so at this position the both becomes equal so in here we can see the concentration is equal to each other because they have only one type of graph so concentration of reactant is equal to concentration of product so there are so many other graphs in which this may be same or this may be this may be different or this may be different that we will see so this is the time at which the system has reached equilibrium at the state of equilibrium so uh, this stage uh, will continue indefinitely so this uh, stage of equilibrium will continue indefinitely if the condition like uh, temperature pressure are not changed we are not changing this temperature and concentration like this thing the state will be uh, in the position of equilibrium and concentration of reactant product in this uh, reaction mixtures attains a constant value and concentration do not change with uh, time